and we're back, back with another one. Right, all right, yes, sir. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day. So, today, I want to talk about side work. You know, a couple pointers for anybody just getting into the trade, and they once you feel comfortable enough to, you know, go out there and make your own money. I highly, highly, highly recommend every man woman person being to do side work I'm in the union and uh, that's kind of every everybody is an unspoken rule everybody does side work but you know technically you're not supposed to do that because you're a you're contracted for the union you know in, in their eyes, you're taking money from them, but I mean, let's be realistic. The work that we do on the side is little work. We're not out here contracting uh, entire commercial stores. We're not out here. Uh, I mean, some people are, get big enough to do like stores, you know, renovate uh, stores. Like when I was non union, um, and I was working under a mentor of mine, this guy Ron. This guy Ron, you know, he taught me a lot. We uh, did a entire an, an entire island cuisine out on Rice Town Road, you know. And I thought I thought that was really cool. Back, then. I was probably in like I was probably like a third year apprentice at that time, and um, we we renovated this whole. We renovated this whole island cuisine and I, I just thought it was so cool because you know this guy bitted his own work to you know he, he got his whole he renovated this this store uh yeah don't mind me i'm uh it's been a long day but i was like i gotta talk to my people gotta talk to my my people I talk to you guys. Got to get a video in. So forgive me, I'm a little tired, but you know how it is. Got to get it. So anyway, yeah, I, I just thought it was really cool that he did this on his own. From up until that point, any renovations or just commercial stores I seen do it was it, I seen done. It was through a company. So to see this guy on his own. Asshole, you bitch. I hate when people just speed up and don't let you let you over when you're trying to get out of the exit. Like, is it really gonna kill you to let me to slow down and let me off? Or run me off the road? But anyway, alright. So I thought I thought <laughs> I thought it was cool that uh this guy on his own went and did this entire project. Got this entire project himself. And we did it from like we renovated this whole place like from from scratch completely it was it was nothing when we started and by the end of it like i recently just went past there the other day and it felt good to go in there like of course i'm going in there nobody knows that i was an electrician that worked on it but i'm just looking around at all my work and i'm like damn this is this is nice this this feels good and Side note, for all the uh, newer guys getting into the trade, that'll happen a lot. All the work that you do in your town, in your city, it'll get to a point where you've done so much work. Everywhere that you go, you're, you're telling your family and friends, like, look, like that's my work. That's my work. I had hands in doing that, and that's a really good feeling. And I bet it's an even better feeling when this side work, this project, this entire project is yours. For example, uh, like when I get to the point of doing entire projects, entire commercial buildings myself, that, that, that'll be amazing. Right now, I'll just go, I'll just do residential stuff 
I go to people's homes and fix switches, put in breakers, little small stuff. So to bring it full circle, that's why, you know, the union doesn't really go after anybody or, or reprimand anybody for doing doing side work because you're not really competing with them. They're not they're not doing little putting in little uh, breakers and, and switches like we're doing little little work. It's it's big to us because that's untaxed money. That's untaxed uh, in in quick money, quick easy money. I, I, doing my own work, I make more money in a day than I do in like three days at work. So imagine working 40 hours, getting your your, your hourly rate, and then on top of that, uh, getting off and then putting in a couple hours of side work on the weekends, doing your own jobs, and, and just getting that money is, is great. So I highly recommend all, all newer guys to do side work, man. Do side work while while you're young, while your body is still fresh. Because once you have years in the trade, you're not I, all, I hear all the older guys say that like that they don't want they don't want to do side work. They even they'll pass it off to me. They'll pass it off to other people. Who, who want the work, who's still young and their bodies are, are fresh. Um, I've, I've, I've been getting it. I've, I've been getting it. I've been doing so much side work and I, I love it. Eventually, you know, I, I'll start my own business. That's, that's my future plans. That's my future goal, start my own business. And then it's no longer called side work. It's called my company. Because essentially, that's that's what side work is. You're running your own business. It's just you're not, you don't have an LLC. You're not legit. But once you legitimize it and you have an LLC and it's your own company, side work is just your business. Um, a couple tips, though, for when you do feel comfortable enough to do, do your own work. Definitely don't let anybody haggle you or, or people will try to make a lot of people think that since it's not a you're not a company that they can just do work get you do get you to do work for it's close to nothing. And don't accept that. You know, this is your profession. You're 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 a craftsman, you're doing you're not doing hack work, you know, you're giving them quality work and they called you for a reason. They, a lot of people are scared of electricity. It is a dangerous job. So therefore you should be paid. Right. You should be paid, right? You should be paid good. Not not close to nothing for doing for giving them quality work. I take pride in, in my job. I take pride in all the work that I do. So every every job that I do, my my customers get quality work. I don't I'm, I don't hack. I don't cut corners. I do everything perfect to a T because I love what I do. And you know, the better that you do, the more money that you'll get. Because you'll get uh, word of mouth is the best network. You know, people, everybody's always looking for an electrician. So somebody, somebody will uh, have an electro, electrical issue, and then one of the people that you've done work for will recommend you. A lot of the people that uh, uh, have are from other people that I've that I've done that I've serviced they've recommended me and uh it, it just catches like wildfire once once you get in that rhythm once you get the ball rolling it, you, you'll start turning down work because you have so much work coming in and um so that's that's definitely don't 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 cheat yourself but at the same time on the flip 
side of the coin of that. Don't try to get rich off of one job, you know, because then you might get that, you might get that uh, one job, you might get this person to let you do the work that one time and then they'll never call you again because you, you tried to break their pockets. You know, try, be fair, be fair, do quality work and there's no limit to it, you know? Um, that's why I'm so successful in what I do because, you know, I'm, um, I give I give quality work and I don't try to break these people's pockets. So they'll call you over and over again because, you know, just life happens. So they might, or, or it, it might not even be something went wrong. They might want to add stuff they might want a, a new light they might want a chandelier they might want an outlet in a, in a different place they want you to do more stuff so you'll be the first one that they call because uh they can trust you you know you want to be uh trustworthy you want to be dependable you want to be a reliable this is your profession once you have a bad name just just as as quick as doing quality work and, and being fair gets you good good reviews and, and people um, spreading your name, doing hack work and ripping people off spreads just as fast and then you'll get no work so I mean it just I guess it all depends what you're in it for you know I'm in it to make money of course we're all in it to make money but I'm in it to expand expand my clientele if you're in it for just one one job you're just trying to get quick money real quick then i mean hey that's that's your prerogative that's that's up to you you want to charge them an arm and a leg then no you'll just get that one job if you get that one job but i highly su suggest to you Be fair with your prices. And do quality work. So outside of not letting people rip you off and, and lowball you and make you uh, ask you to charge them little to nothing. Also, like I said, be fair with your prices. Don't try to get rich off for of one job. Give, give them fair prices. And another thing is uh, be clear, be clear with with your customers. Because some people, not everybody is uh, fair. Not everybody, they'll, they'll try to get over on you. Like they'll, they'll have you do all of the work and then they won't want to pay. And then it's like, you're, you're just fucked. Uh, another thing that I suggest is uh, what I do is, you know, because I'm getting more and more people, I, uh, I have the customer um, put a, a deposit in, whatever deposit, it could be $50, it could be 40 it could be 100 depending on what you feel you deserve make them do a deposit to secure a day and time because some people will have you come over and diagnose the problem and then they have no intentions on having you do the work they just want you to tell them what's wrong and then they'll do they'll try to diy it or d diy it whatever diy do it yourself yeah diy it. they'll try to or or they'll have uh their cousin their cousin who will watch youtube uh, they watched one of my videos, and I and I and I told them how to do a receptacle. They need a new outlet, so they watched one of my videos, and they want to do it themselves. Great, they watch my video, but they take they're not gonna actually get have you do the job. They just want you to tell them what is wrong. So make sure you have these people give you a deposit, so you're not going out there wasting gas wasting your time and also like once you have people rolling in 
your scheduling days. And if somebody has asked you to come out and then, you know, you tu you're turning other people away. So you don't not only wasted your time with this person who just have had asked you to diagnose the problem and wants to do it themselves, you they you lost out on them and then you lost out on the people that you turned away because you thought that this person was gonna actually do ask actually have you do the work. You know, just just be smart about it. Take yourself serious, carry yourself serious. And um, you you definitely get what you you get from it, what you put out. You know, uh, I'm getting success from it. I'm getting getting great things from it because I give my all, and um, I put in put in great. I put I give great work. I'm nice to these people. Uh, I mean, I'm just myself. I'm just a a, a chill person, chill, cool guy. Um, likable or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't care to be likable, but I just, I'm just, that's just my personality. I'm just a chill person. Um, so most people do like me. Um, but you know how it is. You can't, you can't make everybody happy. So that part, that part doesn't matter to me. I'm just here to do, I'm just here to feed my family. And do what I love. Do what I love. Um, but yeah, I and the quote that I always like to uh say what side work is is how they say give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man a fish, he'll eat forever. That's what this trade is. That's what any trade is. When you learn the trade, you're learning to fish and you will eat forever. Whether you go the route of finding a company and giving and climbing the ranks there or starting your own company or just doing side work. Regardless, once you have these skills, you will eat forever. You, no one can take this knowledge from you. Nobody can take these skills from you. You, can, you will always be able to, you, you'll never go without money. You know, you just got to go get it. It's out here. It's money out here. Everybody, it's money out here, man. Like everybody needs work. Everybody, everybody wants a light installed, a switch installed. You just have to go get it. You have to find these people. You have to put yourself in positions to get the work, you know? Uh... And that's 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 pretty much it. That's that's my input. You know, side work, do side work, do quality side work, and um, you'll you'll you can't lose. You cannot lose. Uh, what's I, I would love to hear some stories of of yours, some experiences of your guys in the uh. Anything that you got, any side jobs that you have done that you feel really proud about or any horror stories from side jobs that you've done? Um, have you have you ever had uh, done some work for a customer and then them, them not wanting to pay you? Have you, uh, what's the craziest thing that you've seen on the side job? Uh, most recently, I went to this uh, lady in Pikesville to do her, uh, she said her, panel something in her panel wasn't working one of her breakers so i go to open it up and you know i'll i'll, I'll put a picture of it in the video i'll put it i'll put a picture up uh i go to do this panel i open up the panel and this i've never i never seen any breakers like this this panel and these breakers were older than me i believe i googled it it was called a uh push push pushmatic a bulldog pushmatic that was the name of the panel that was the name of the breakers bulldog pushmatic um and it literally was older than me it was, I'm, I'm 31 this this panel was at least 50 years old so uh even the way that you put the breaker in is is obsolete like Nobody does it like that. Uh, 
the way that the panels sit or the breaker sit in the panel on the bus bar uh, is completely different from how we snap them in now and the uh, breakers touch the bus, bus bar. It's just, it's just completely different. That, uh, that style, that Pushmatic Bulldog or Bulldog Pushmatic style panel or, or breaker is, is obsolete. Now you can uh, order them online, but I went into Home Depot to try to find it. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't find it because nobody make it or they, it's, that's, it's uncommon now. Uh, you know, we have Eaton, Siemens, G type panels and stuff now. And uh, where they just snap in. So that right now, as of now, that's one of the craziest things that I've seen. Because, like I said, this panel, this breaker was older. These breakers were older than me. So I, that was the first time I've ever seen it. Um... Uh, some other crazy things. Uh, I've, some of, just some of the when I go into different panels, uh, and and they're like, oh, I had my cousin's brother-in-law do it, and uh, it's just the panel looks a complete mess. Looks like a a rat's nest in there, and they're like, oh, can you fix it? And that's one. Let me tell you this. It, I do what you want. I personally, when when someone when a customer says that they had a a bunch of different electricians in in it, I say nah. I I don't want any parts of it because you know one, you'll do the work and then it'll it'll you'll be the fall guy. It'll come back on you. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the money. Isn't worth the trouble. You know, you possibly burn somebody's house down. Uh, like this is electricity at the end of the day. This this stuff is uh dangerous. You could burn somebody's house down if it's faulty. Uh, if something goes wrong and they try to sue you, put it all on you. But it was uh two other hack electricians before you. You know, you're obviously not a hack, but they they got someone to do it for cheap. And they hack their way, and then they want you to come and fix it. So, just keep that in mind. Ask, ask, has there been work done to this before? Definitely inquire. Because, uh, yeah, I, that's with this lady, with this Pushmatic. Uh, this lady said that she had an electrician do some work to it before, and she wanted me to come in and uh fix it she wanted me to come in and do put in a whole new panel and i'm like that's my baby that's my baby uh so that's uh uh she wanted me to come in and install a new panel and i told her i i you know i i could have done the work but like I said, all money isn't good money, and I just didn't feel like it was worth the risk. Say something, something goes wrong from you know from the previous electricians that uh that did it. Something goes wrong, then it's gonna come back on me. So just keep that in mind, guys. Go out here and get this money. Like I said, do do quality work, be fair, and there's there's no limits to what you can do. There's no limits. Anything that you put your mind to, you can do it. I strongly, firmly believe that. Anything that I put my mind to, I, I'm going to do it. I've, that's been my motto my entire life. I, I believe I can I, I can do anything. Anything that I want to do, I'm, I'm going to do it. You just got to believe in yourself. There's absolutely no reason that, that you can't do it. I'm, I'm going to have my, I'm going to uh, have a, my own company one day. And, in my mind, there's absolutely no reason why I, I I can't have my own company. No reason at all. There's absolutely no reason at all that I can't start my own company. So that's uh that's that's exactly that's just my that's just my mindset, you know. So always keep so just keep that in mind, guys. 
And um, all right, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. I'm out.